Egyptian Fat Tuesday, and today you can actually indulge while giving back. As preparations are underway right now for the 27th annual Mardi Gras for the homeless children. Nine on your side, Allie Kramer joins us live inside the Northern Kentucky Convention Center for the big event. And Allie, tell us more about what happens tonight. Good morning, Chris Catherine. It is going to be a very entertaining night here in Northern Kentucky. I know it is quiet here now, not quite Bourbon Street, but I'm telling you the entertainment, the live music, the Beachwood High School marching band will also be here leading the parade. So uh, what you're seeing now are just the final preparations. Take a look inside the Northern Kentucky Convention Center. So we, we have all these booths set up. Molly Malone, Southern Wine and Spirits, Buckhead Mountain Grill. I saw the Ryan Geist truck parked over there. There are food trucks here. Blink Linkers Tavern, which is just over on Greenup Street, and uh, one of my favorites, Biscuits to Burgers, which is just down the street here, and, and Fire at River Center. All of these places set up, ready to serve food at this event. Take a look right now at some of the dishes that the Metropolitan Club will be serving tonight. We talked with the operations manager, Sean McLean. He walked us through the dishes. Uh, you're seeing a chicken and andouille sausage gumbo. It's got a spicy kick, he says. And then they're also serving jumbo lump crab cakes. The Metropolitan Club, they are unique because two nonprofits actually own 70% of the club. So giving back is really a passion and a top priority. The homeless rate, especially amongst children, uh, is far too large. So uh, anything that, that can be done, which I think this is one of those events that you know really reaches out and, and makes sure that something does get done. Now, in the past 26 years, the event has raised more than $1.5 million for homeless children here in Northern Kentucky. This year, the event, the proceeds from the event benefit three different nonprofits, Bethany House, the Brighton Center, and Welcome House of Northern Kentucky. Tickets are still available. I know the room looks full as far as tables go, and one year they did sell out. Those tickets still available for $70. And coming up at 630, we're going to talk a little bit more about where all of those proceeds go, specifically with the Welcome House of Northern Kentucky. Guys, for now, reporting live inside the Northern Kentucky Convention Center, Allie Kramer, right on your side. Doesn't it look great there? It 